What are you called to be in your life? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Father Dave Concepcion narrated some time back that during one of his baptisms for babies, he had a spirited discussion with one of the parents who insisted on naming his baby Morning Glory. It was the name of a horse. The father promised that if this horse won in a race he was betting in, he will name his baby after it. Father Dave asked what would be the future of the baby if this will be his name. Either he will become a horse jockey, or worse, he might live the life of a horse. I thought I had a most unusual name, Raboni, which means teacher and master, until I came upon one person who had the same name, a Muslim, at the Makati City Hall. In the website Blaze Press, there were names of people that ranged from funny to foul. Here are some of the tamer ones. Jurassic, surnamed Park, a political candidate named Oliver Loser, a sex offender named Mr. Love, an Indonesian named Batman Bin Superman, Bud Light after the beer brand, Cash Register, who was exonerated from a case filed, Lord Brain, an author of a book in neurology, Pu Sayud Diwong, author of the book Cooking with Poo, Hitler Mussolini, director general of a police force, and Samsung, an Apple computer specialist. And here's one years back during a fire drill at our company. The deputy chief of the fire department of Makati City was surnamed Purgatorio. Today's gospel reading describes the birth and naming of St. John the Baptist. His name means graced by God. He was truly graced for he was tasked by God to prepare the people to welcome the Messiah by preaching to them repentance and the renewal of their lives. Zechariah and Elizabeth John's parents were egged on by their relatives and neighbors to follow tradition by calling their newborn child Zechariah after his father. But the couple knew God wanted a different name. What will this child turn out to be is a question those around them ask. Perhaps it is a question we should also ask ourselves. It is not just the name that we must carefully think about when we name our child, but it is the future we must prepare them for a responsibility we cannot shirk, one that we must do with much love, nurturing, and care. We thank our parents for the name they gave us. They have done their part. We must do ours. We cannot blame them if we don't like our name. What is important is what we make of the lives we have today. We ask ourselves, what are we called to be in our life? How have we turned out to be? Have we lived up to the name given to us as a race of chosen people? Christians, followers of Christ? Have we led lives that please our Father in heaven, who graciously gave His Son to us, which we celebrate this Christmas time? Are we working for the care of our soul today to prepare for His coming? The lives we live today will affect how we will turn out to be tomorrow. Yesterday is gone and regrets may be aplenty, but for as long as we breathe, change for the better can be had. The Gospel says, the hand of the Lord will be with him. So will his hand be with us if we permit Jesus to permeate our lives, follow his steps, and be faithful to our calling to live holy lives. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, let me not escape your loving gaze and plan. If I have disappointed in the past, let me atone and be transformed by your grace. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.